everyone, I'm IX and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make this sketchy outline in Blender using Grease Pencil. It's relatively easy to do and you can get really really nice results using this method. So let's get started, let's make a new file and in here we're just going to use a monkey as an example and we're adding a camera. Okay, now first of all, we're going to select the objects that we're going to add the outline to. We're going to go to Add, Grease Pencil, and you're going to select Object Line Art. Depending of the use case that you're making this with, you can also select Collection Line Art, which will make a line art of every object inside the collection. But in this case, I'm going to just use Object Line Art. So as you can see, it makes a basic tune outline to our model which honestly looks really good for like basic things but how to make it like look sketchy so first of all decrease the line thickness as I just did then we're going to add a multiple strokes modifier and as you can see it adds two extra layers to the same liner that we have after this we're just going to tweak the values until it looks nice enough then the important part here is that we enable the fade option right here that will fade the secondary outlines that we make to the object so for this we're, we're going to just use basically random values whatever looks decent enough for you so as you can see we now have multiple strokes in the same outline so next we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier like this and to use two then a noise modifier you just use random values until it looks decent enough that's basically the entire essence of this tweaking values until everything looks good enough then for the last part we're going to use a length modifier what this will do is add a extra step of length to each endpoint of the outline so as you can see if i edit this i can edit the length of the outline so i always like to leave it a bit outside of where it originally is so it looks like you overdrawn this sketch as you usually see when you actually draw on paper or digitally so this is basically it this is the essence of it then you can just add some extra steps like changing the color of the outline to something other than black it will give a really nice result so if i enable camera to view we can see how it changes with every frame so as you can see if you are going to use this in animation i would recommend disabling the noise modifier because that way it will be a bit more stable it will still have a bit of issues when moving but it's really no big deal i'm going to put a bit more uh, a few more examples of the different uses that you can of the different scenarios where you can have this and when you pair it with a proper tune shader a stylized material it will look really really good Thanks for watching.